with mounds of debt. And that was for ProfessorLevitt.com. Okay, next is from Janice Myers uh, with the website Making Tracks Camping. T-R-A-X is Tracks Camping and the soon-to-be BoondockerCamping.com. So she says, Tom, as a self-defense expert, what are some tools you can suggest for staying safe while camping in the boondocks in a truck camper, tent, or RV? Campers in the backcountry can be vulnerable to people with evil intentions. So I would rather deal with bears than a robber or rapist who may be emboldened by the seclusion that campers seek. I carry pepper spray, but taking a handgun across state lines seems very complicated. Cell phone reception is often not available in the wilderness. What are your thoughts? Well, the first thing, Janice, is early warning. And that would be an, a totally legal way to be alerted if someone or something is getting close to your campsite. There are a couple of ways you can do this. One is by using a trip wire to set up, set off a loud signal, signaling device. Spider wire is a kind of fishing wire, which is good for this. And there are alarm devices you can get on Amazon that when a pin is pulled, it sets off an ear piercing, piercing, terrible, frightening noise. They're mostly designed to carry with you. And if someone grabs your purse and tries to run away with it, the pin gets pulled and the noise goes off. Now, if you're surrounded by trees, you can get small screw eyelets and, and screw them into the trees. And they're so small, they won't hurt the trees. And you mount your alarm on one tree and run the trip wire through the eyelets all the way around your, your campground. Uh, and the trip wires are virtually invisible. And if someone approaches and trips the wire, it pulls the pin, and this piercing noise tells you someone or something just approached your camp. Now, the downside is that a fox or squirrel could set this off, and then you'll be all up all night resetting it. Another way would be to use a battery-operated 